Series number one is the Houston Astros mm. versus the Oakland A's. One of the three that has uh, bad blood from this regular season. These benches emptied. Uh, Loriano got hit three times. The Cintron, the batting coach, got 22 game suspension for Astros. Is he back? It's got to be, right? Loriano or the hitting coach? Oh, hitting coach. Gosh. I'd assume so. I'd assume he's know. back. Just Who go cares? Home. This is a, a you know storyline series. The A's haven't made the playoffs in the last couple of years. They've lost to the Astros, who turns out they they were cheating in 2017 and possibly and probably cheating in 2018, 2019 to beat them. They're 195 games plus. Now they get to meet up in the ALDS, a five game series. I don't know who pitching is favored in here. They're both kind of piece in it piecemeal. Um, and both offenses are kind of not clicking at all cylinders, but getting hot. So this series, you know, on the field, I don't know how to wrap my head around it. What do you have, Jake? Uh, I picked the A's in my bracket. Maybe I'll change. Teaser. Um, we'll see. And, yeah, Jim, I, I think uh, there's bad blood. And uh, you didn't mention the name that's got the biggest bad blood, technically, for everyone. It's Fires. Uh, Fires was the whistleblower. Uh, and he is on these Oakland A's, so uh, it's it's going to be hot. I've I've been saying it on this podcast for about a calendar year that the A's, you know, the Dodgers fans were mad, Yankees fans were, fans were mad at Houston, <laughs> Oakland should be just as mad at those dudes uh, for for cheating them out. So, yeah, I, I think we could start with the pitching a little bit. Granky, uh, I still think is the the number one overall in this series. And then the Astros, it's talented question marks. Fr- Framber Valdez had a huge year. Jose Urquidy dropped some D on uh, Trev's Minnesota Twins. McCullers is yet to show. You wonder if he maybe finds himself in a Patrick Corbin role where maybe he bullpens in the first game, but he's still lined up for a start. Uh, and Christian Javier would be their other guy. You'd like to think Grinky would be one in five if they need it for them. And then Oakland, part of the reason I kind of liked Oakland was that they get better as the series gets longer, in my opinion. Like, I really like the depth on this team. Um, you know, you can mention their starting pitching. It's, you know, I, I think it's similar to Houston. I mean, Manaya, Lazardo, Fires. We'll see if Montes can find his way back in. He had a really nice showing the other day. Um, but, you know, this team is the lineup, there's guys that can do it in a lot of different ways. The pitching, there's guys that can do it in a lot of different ways that I think the longer a series goes, that their talent can rise to the top where they don't have their top end ones and twos that had us scared in the wild card series and Matty Chapman's out. But um, I don't know, man. I, I think this is as intense as it gets. And I I think, you know, I, I do have Oakland going in this series, but, you know, you you could talk me either way. Like, if Granky shoves game one, I'm going to be like, well, he's he's a bad man, and if Bregman homers, you know, it all starts coming together. So I'm excited. It's going to be intense, Trev. I agree. Um, this is probably – I mean, I want to really see the Rays-Yankees just because I want mm. to watch some misery from you guys. But sure. just baseball-wise, I think this is probably going to be my favorite series. The storylines are amazing with – um, like you said, fires on the A's and what he did and exposing the whole cheating scandal. Um, but it's going to be, I think the A's, I mean, they have, they, the A's are the clear favorite here just because of the, the starting pitching depth, the pitching depth in general. And the Astros haven't hit either, man. You know, like I keep saying, like if, if these guys wake up and, and start getting back to what they were, in 2017, 18, 19, then that's a whole different story, but they haven't done that. Carlos Correa has been pretty good. He's talking a lot of shit. Um, I just think, like, the whole, like, you prefaced it really well. There's a lot of anger, a lot of animosity between these two teams. Um, I was talking to one of the guys on the A's, and I said, please, please go take out these Astros. He goes, there is not another group of guys who want to beat the Astros more than we do. He said that to me unprovoked, and I usually think, yeah, that's bullshit, whatever. But, like, you know, he's would, this guy in particular wouldn't just say that, you know, he's a nice guy, but he hates these two teams hate each other. I don't know why the Astros should hate anybody. The Astros should be nice to everybody, <laughs> but these two teams hate each other. Well, if they want to hate anyone, I understand the whistleblowing team with fires. 